Hey guys, this is Tony with ESP Guitars. We're here at Hellfest 2018 with Padge from Bullet For My Valentine. Padge, thanks for taking the time to Good chat with us a little bit. Thanks, You've been having a very busy year so far. Yep. We have a new album out, tours. It's been pretty insane for you guys since the beginning of the year. How's it been? Yeah, it's, uh, like you said, it's been, it's been non-stop. We've done two tours of America. Um, we're out on the European Festival run at the moment. Drop the album in a week's time, and then continue to tour for another two years. So, pretty, pretty, pretty beaten up already, but we haven't even started. Just yet. getting, <laughs> yeah, just gearing up. So, yeah. well, it's exciting, man. That's really good. It is, yeah. So, speaking of the new album, can we uh, can we talk a little bit about the, maybe the recording process? What guitars did you use for the album? Is there anything <laughs> that kind of stuck out there, guitar-wise? Just okay. one either side, really simple. Really okay. basic. But most of the layering was, you know, from electronics and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Samples and so, stuff like that, yeah. So pulling it back a little bit, not, not making it too complicated. No, no, no. Just nice and simple and uh, just going for the, the bigger, rounder sound. You've been with ESP for a very long time. How long How long has it been since you've been with ESP? Man, I think about 2008, perhaps. It's about a decade now. Yeah, yeah. Long, long time. It's a long time. And uh, I remember they gave me the... Uh, Give me a few DV8s, uh, the Dave Mustaine 8-Balls. Was that the first, first one you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't and, know that. Uh, which is essentially the same model. And um, yeah. when, when Dave left, he, you know, the uh, ESP were kind enough to offer me that model, which I was using anyway, so it was great. And they put my name on it. And yeah, put the cool inlay on it, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's rad. Yeah, it's your guitar. Yeah. One, that, one of your guitars that is my personal favorite is uh, the snakeskin one. Right. The white snakeskin custom yeah. uh, V is one of the coolest guitars I've seen at the custom shop. It is cool. I want to know which one's your favorite, though. Um, I mean, I, I do love my main, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Fortunately, we've got the uh, these drop pedals, so we, we don't have to use different tunings anymore. So oh, it's awesome. Much, yeah, I'm pretty much stuck stuck to this one all, all the show now, which is which is great, and the, the tuning holds up amazing, but I do like the uh, the snakeskin guitar. I thought that was, we were all drooling over that. Not yeah. on the guitar, but we were all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he, he's not out with us at the moment, but um, yeah, we, maybe I'll bring him out on the, on the next one. So there's one question we always go back to, but we gotta ask it is, you've been with ESP for a very long time. Why do you play ESP guitars? When you could play anything else in the world, why do you play ESP? Um, there's just never any, any genuinely, there's never any faults with them. I mean, the tuning holds up all show. Um, you know, I never have to go back to my tuner. Um, they're durable, they sound great. The the neck, I've been, you know, playing the, the same neck for a decade now, so I'm just, it just becomes a part of me. Feels like home. Yeah, it just becomes a part of me during the show, and uh, I just wouldn't, wouldn't want to change that, you know, because everything else would feel alien on stage then, so uh, it's just, it's just a, it's just the ultimate guitar. It just works for you, that's yeah. awesome, that's great to hear. All right, well, I, again, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us today and looking forward to checking out the set later at Hellfest. Oh, man. Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks, Patch.